Hey everyone, Eric Goins from Automate Intelligently here. Um, in the uh, Adalo Slack group, I've seen quite a few times people asking for um, some information about an ordering system. And I wanted to show you guys one that I've made um, from another template and changed up a little bit uh, for a restaurant that I've worked with in the past. So just to go into how the actual collections work, it's simple. You have four things. You have users, orders, menu items, and order items. Basically, the flow is a user logs in. They see menu items. They can add these menu items, which become order items, to an order. So if we look at this, and we go into this app, Okay, a user can see the menu in order. Okay, they have the, the menu of the day. When you click start order, it actually creates an order as soon as you do that. Okay, so actually, sorry, that's not true. As soon as you click set pickup time, okay, if you're doing a pickup, um, that is when it creates the order, okay? So the order is marked as unfulfilled or in progress, okay? And then the user will go and they can see the different items, okay? They can add them to their cart. Just choose a few things here. Let's get some drinks. Okay, you can see the checkout. Okay, as you check out, if you were to go through and pay, okay? Now the order is marked as fulfilled. Or paid okay so you have that process there where um, where you have a unfulfilled order and then eventually it is fulfilled okay so you can see here you can see the tie to the order items you can see um, the status whether it's paid or in progress and when it's paid they actually go through and um, they add all the amounts and whether there's any notes um, when, the, when the customer checks out related to pickup or delivery. So earlier today, somebody also asked about a lead time to help restaurants filter what items are available on the menu based on the time of day. So what I did is when the customer goes in to create this original order, I use, I created a lead time, uh, which is based off of that current time so that they can only see things available at that time, okay? And then what I did is I filtered the menu items by a lead time as well, okay? And the available time. Um, you can see it's, I think that, that this is this is very simple and it makes it very easy for the, the data to flow through the different tables instead of having um, a bunch of different records moving between different collections um, or trying to tie them in, in a different way. The, the Really the easiest thing to do is to have a status in the order, whether it's, um, you know, in progress, paid, delivered, abandoned, etc. One thing somebody did mention as well is that um, you might have inventory. So what I would do in that case is I would have in the menus item menu items, I would have an, an inventory number. And then when somebody adds something to their cart, it is deleted. Uh, one it is reduced by you know one unit or whatever um, in in the the menu items, or you could do it at time of payment um, if if you wanted to um, you know actually wait for them to check out. So that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, you can email me at eric at automatedintelligently.com. Cheers.